The Big Jobs Summit, the Jobs and Skill Summit is on in Parliament House today. Unfortunately, the opposition and Peter Dutton won't be turning up. In any case, we already know what Peter Dutton's jobs policy is. His flagship jobs policy is fruit picking for elderly Australian retirees. But we can see their contribution in this chart from the Grattan Institute. The last decade is a lost decade. The worst productivity in that decade in 60 years. Stagnant wages, now rising cost of living. Now this analysis by Daniel Wood shows in quite stark relief that Australia has just endured a lost decade, the dead decade of low productivity, the lowest in 60 years. Now that was a bit of a global phenomenon. Globally, most OECD countries have flatlined a bit between the GFC and COVID, but Australia since 1970 has slipped down the rankings from sixth in the world to 16th in the world. Now, just to grab a couple of highlights from Wood's speech, the good news is that unemployment is at record lows. It has a three in front of it. Now, that's good news because the cost of living is rising sharply, but the tight labour market means that wages, there will be pressure on wages to rise. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is over the lost decade, wages for ordinary Australian workers have completely stagnated. And as the cost of living has gone up, they've actually fallen in real terms. And bear in mind that we're in the countdown to next Tuesday when the RBA comes out with its rate rise. Will they go aggressive with a three quarters of a percent rate rise or what the market expects with 50? How strongly do they want to tackle inflation? So that's bubbling along in the background. Can't wait for that one. Just you know, just fascinating stuff, RBA rate rises. Can't get enough of it. The good news for delegates of the conference is that most of them, perhaps not some of the union um, delegates, but most of them, the rent seekers, will be all getting, and the policy makers, the politicians, they will all be getting their $9,000 a year extra in the kick thanks to the stage three tax cuts. Now, here's the bit we liked most about the keynote address from Danielle Wood. Has business done its bit? Because we do hear a lot from business. They're very prevalent in the mainstream media, sallying forth with their strong opinions on what governments need to do to appease business. Mostly it's lower taxes for corporations and lower wages for workers or more flexibility. Flexibility is the key word. According to Wood, the animal spirits of business appeared to be largely in hibernation over the past 10 years. Profits were high and interest rates were low, yet investment was weak. Rates of new firm entry and entrepreneurship declined, and so did rates of firm exits. And then she moves to one of our favourite topics, our most cherished topics of all, money and politics. And the bad news is that Australia is also a land of rent seekers. Cream skimming, as Wood calls it, is bad for productivity. And the biggest cream skimmers are in, you guessed it, mining, property and gambling. The gambling chart, the, the gambling segment of the chart is very interesting because gambling is a relatively big donor to the political parties, but produces zero productivity. <laughs> mining, big donor, property and construction, even bigger. And then at the other end, we've got health and education and retail and so on who contribute more um, in economic terms, but don't give as much money to the political parties. Now, the point of this rent seeking is that this money in politics leads to bad policy decisions, policies which favour vested interests, such as in property, no money laundering tranche two laws, negative gearing. So good news is... For poorer people, wages are going to tighten. We've still got one in eight people in Australia living in poverty. That's shocking news. But the people that aren't rent seekers but are job seekers, well, they're still on their 46 bucks a day. Half a million children living in poverty too. But the good news is the tight labour market means that, like never before, young people leaving school have the opportunity to get a job. Just how many jobs do they have to work in order to make a living and to ever be able 
to buy a house in Australia. The mates class has been looked after brilliantly. The workers, not so much. Here at Michael West Media, our productivity is at the highest point in six years, not the lowest point in 60 years. Thank you to those of you who support us on Patreon.